Hi, I'm Benjamin J. Heckendorn, also known as Ben Heck, and I'm here today to show you the features of my new Revision 3 video game latency controller monitor. This is a controller that I have specially modified on the inside. It takes connections directly from the buttons rather than the circuitry, so you get the fastest response possible. You plug in your 8-foot cable here, and that cable leads back to your unit. The big new difference is that this system runs off a microcontroller unit that is Arduino compatible. Thus, we can use the Arduino IDE to configure some variables, such as the minimum trigger pull required to trigger the lights. We can also adjust the analog sticks to make them as sensitive or insensitive as possible. We flash the new program to the unit, but now we need to configure it. You'll see some buttons on the back. They're not labeled yet, but it's to reset the processor, configuration, and then user menu. We don't need that quite yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a serial monitor over here in our Arduino software, and we're going to reset the processor, and when it reboots, we're going to hold down config, which will get us a menu. Watch the screen here. There we go. This is going to look at the baseline values of the controller and store them on the EEPROM. So we get, do that, we get left trigger, right trigger, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. We push the button, and now the controller is configured to the baseline variables, and you'll have all the accuracy that you need based off your file. One advantage to programming the sensitivity instead of doing a hardware solution, as in my old monitors, is that we can get very sensitive readings on the analog sticks. Basically, hardly any movement at all will light up. At a certain point, it will be too sensitive. It might stick on a little bit, but you can adjust that in your Arduino code. So you can look and see, perhaps, if your user, when they're pushing L3, if they're also maybe kind of hitting other directions. That'll, that'll show up during your testing. The basic idea here is you don't need to look at what the user is pressing. This will show you in big, clear LEDs what the user is pressing. And what you can do is, with a high-speed camera, film this and your game display at the same time and measure the latency. The unit can either be powered by USB or an external power jack. One final thing for your consideration is that since this is microcontroller powered, you can look for specific trigger events in your character's gameplay. For instance, if you're looking down the sight of a gun like this, you're about to shoot something, that can be set up as a trigger event which arms your external high-speed camera. Then, when the player fires the gun, it can set up a separate event which triggers the high-speed camera to actually start filming to get a burst of footage right when the gun is fired. Since you're recording this and your gameplay screen, you can look at that footage back in slow motion to figure out your latency with great detail. Well, that's the basic overview of the Controller Monitor Rev4. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I hope to hear from you soon.